So I started a podcast about a month or two ago and I have been editing a lot of those type of videos. And I've seen that it's been really taking me way too long to edit and cut up all the footage from the things we talk about in the podcast. So I realized like, I need something else. I need to find something that make this process quicker for me so I can get to other YouTube videos or just videos in general. And so today, that's what we're gonna be talking about. This AI tool that I found is called Autopod. Autopod is an AI feature. They kind of made it for podcasters, but you can use it for other videos. So here's the Autopod website. It got a start free trial. And as far as the pricing on Autopod is 30 bucks a month. Beats a editor where you have to spend what a hundred dollars per episode maybe just to have them edit that your podcast episode so 30 bucks a month i would say it probably gonna help you in the long run for sure you just put start free trial you type in your email you put all your information and basically what it's gonna ask is it's gonna have you download it to your computer when you download it to your computer it's gonna give you this um this key it's gonna give you this key where you put it into premiere or whatever other software you use i use premiere pro so i had to put in the key in Premiere Pro in order to use the Autopod features in Premiere. So, so we're here in Premiere Pro. Once you go up to the Windows, once you got it downloaded to your Mac or Windows, whatever you use, go up to Windows, go to Extensions, and you should see Autopod Jump Cut, Multicam, Social Clip. You should see all those features that Autopod comes with. So we're gonna use the Multicam feature. I already have my stuff already in, but as you've seen real quick, that you have to get this key to put in before you start using it. Up here, let's put this back up here. Uh, so in this podcast, I had my good friend Tanner. Tanner, she is a photographer, so we're gonna go ahead and get this going. Cutting method, I preferably say in enable, disable. You had a clip where it, you don't wanna show them talking, just wanna show yourself, it might be unable. So you wanna enable that clip, you'll be able to do so with that. So Multi-cam frequency, I normally have it low, so it won't cut too crazy, that's just my preference. How many speakers? We have two speakers, of course. Cameras, I got three. So I'm gonna put three cameras. So yes, I had to sync up all my clip. And also, if you have any cuts in your clip, make sure to nest it together. It will not work if you don't nest all your clips together. And make sure all your audio is synchronized. So you just select your clip and make sure you just do synchronize. Synchronize there. All right. And okay, since we got that together, so my first audio is Tanner. That's in the audio line one. And the second one is me. Uh, so video. So video one is Tanner. That's right. Video two is what's called, then video three. So my video three is my wide angle shot. So that's gonna be all speakers there. And you can save this as a preset. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it as a preset. I'm gonna just put KE preset, preset, can't spell, but uh, KE preset. So just make sure all your stuff is synced up, cut off both ends, make sure there's no frames in between. And let's see how fast it is. And this is really a two hour and 14 minute podcast want to see how it's going to do with that and this looks like it's encoding now and like i said this is a two-hour podcast this is long i do not recommend cutting up all of it if you know you ain't gonna use it all but i'm just really just testing it out today and we go this is two hours worth of footage not two two hours and 15 minutes big fact big fact and as you can see, the dark clips is the clips that you won't see and the lighter clips are the clips you're gonna see. And you can enable those dark clips whenever you want. And so we right here at the finish line. And that probably what took probably a minute, two minutes probably to cut it all. But beats two hours, <laughs> two, three hours cutting it all. All right, so let's see how good autopilot. Let's go to a very choppy section. So let's see how it does. Oh. And you see, it didn't really do much as. And you see, it didn't really do much as the wide shot, and that's fine, that's totally fine. You can always select how many you want. This is what I do. Select the uh, right click and push enable, and it's gonna enable those clips again. 
And once you go to them clips, it's gonna show that wide shot or that third camera that you may have. And so if I feel like it's just just me and her talking for too much, you know, too much, and just want to mix it up, I'll just go to a certain section and select a, probably just a few and go to enable, and boom, I have my wide shot included in there. So those are the minor adjustments that I have once I go in here and edit my podcast. It's just, it'd be those final adjustments. And of course I may add some of their work like photos and stuff and just go from there. But other than that, Autopod is a workhorse for me. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend cutting up a two hour section like I just did. I will basically pick up a section that you know you want to post. If you want to see up and coming podcasts or my previous podcast, like and subscribe and comment down below what's your favorite AI tool that you like to use or an AI tool that a lot of people don't know about that you want people to hear. Just put it in the comments so people can see that and let me know. I be I'm looking for more AI tools just to make my process easier. So I but definitely would love to hear what you use that helps your process. I want to hear that in the comments down below. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I see you when I see you.